What's up everyone welcome back to another interesting video on custom rooms and today it's turn for the most famous custom room in the POCO X4 Pro community the Evolution X room. So before we get started let me tell you that Evolution X is one of the most stable and customizable rooms of all time providing a lot of features. So I'll be talking about everything starting from the software experience to the cons. So my name is Priyanshu you're watching Max Rex. let's get the video started. So firstly starting with the boot animation, so the boot animation is again the same. I mean it's not the first time I'm using this room. Evolution X was one of the first rooms I ever tested when I was new to this kind of thing. So yeah, the boot animation hasn't changed in the past two years. So overall it's fine. Now talking about the software, so I'm using the latest Evolution X 7.9.7 .7 that comes on the security patch of 5th August 2023 and of course it's based on Android 13. But it doesn't come with any custom kernel, so keep that in mind. Now talking about the launcher, so this room comes with the exclusive Evolution X launcher, which is basically launcher 3. Um yeah. So it comes with a lot of features like when you click on the wallpaper and style option, you get features like themed icons. When applied, your apps get themed like that of the colors of your wallpaper and system. In fact, you get other features like you can change the number of app grids. So yeah. <laughs> Moving back, you also get features for home settings, so when you open it, you get a lot more features. So when you click on the icons tab, you can change the icon size, font size, and even you get features like post themed icons, which when applied generate themed icons for those apps which don't have one. In fact, from the icon pack settings, you can change your icon styles, so you get a lot of features regarding icons. Now if you move back, you also get more features for app drawer and home screen but I'm not gonna cover them cause the video is gonna get really long. Now you also get customizations regarding recent menu so when you open this tab for recent menu features, you can select which option you wanna keep on your recent menu like screenshot, google lens and obviously clear button. But apart from this, you also get an option to display the memory info but I really like this feature, shake phone to clear all tasks. Let me show you how it works. Pretty amazing right? So yeah, that's all for the launcher, now let's talk about the pre-installed apps you can do in this custom room. Now if I talk about the pre-installed apps, so as this is a gapps build so you get the play store and google app pre-installed along with google dialer and message so no more call recording without letting the other person know. Yeah. In fact, you also get the papers app from Evolution X, which provides a lot of wallpapers which are Evo X themed. So yeah, nice work Evo team. Apart from this, you also get the MIUI cam pre-installed which works fine without any problem but again, my favorite app is Dolby Atmos which provides amazing sound experience so yeah, that's for the pre-installed apps. Now talking about the features and customizations, so when you open settings, you get a tab called Evolver so after you open it, you get a lot of features for themes, status bar, QS panel and much more. So firstly, talking about the theme features, so you get theming settings, so when you open the tab, you can choose theme styles or the color pattern of your system like right now I have kept mine one on the tonal spot. So if I choose fruit salad, the color pattern gets changed which looks really cool right? In fact, you can also customize the luminance and chroma intensity of the system directly from here. Now moving back you also get features for dark theme like you can change the dark background style so right now I have set it on vivid. Now if I click on clear, you can see my wallpaper as my background which I found really amazing. But I like to keep it on vivid for better battery backup. Now moving back, you also get features for your body fonts. So when you open the tab, you get a lot of font options which is really amazing. Moving back, you also get a lot of cellular and Wi-Fi pack like right now I have set mine cellular icon on the window style and the zigzag Wi-Fi icon pack. Moreover, you can also customize your app icon shape from the settings and you get variety of app icons option like right now I have set mine one on the scroll which looks really nice. In fact, moving back, you can also customize your navigation bar from the settings as you can see you get a lot of navigation bar presets like I have set mine one on the Sammy and if I click techno cam on, the nav bar style gets changed. So yeah, that's for the theming features. Now talking about the status bar features and customizations, as you can see you get the status bar lyric feature which displays the lyric of the songs played on the status bar. I made a dedicated video about this feature a long time ago so make sure to watch it, link in the description. Moving down, 
You also get some features for clock but apart from this I really like the feature called the status bar logo by which you can set custom logo on your status bar like right now I have set mine one on the windows as you can see and now if I select Puma the logo gets changed by the way sorry for the broken skin. Now moving down you also get different battery icon styles like right now I have set it on the portrait MX and now if I select the big circle the icon gets changed. Apart from this, you also get an option called battery bar which displays the battery percentage of your system by displaying this kind of line on the top of your screen which is really useful and the color changes for different battery percentage. Now you also get some features for notification but I'm not gonna cover it cause the video is gonna get really long. Now moving into the quick settings tab. As you can see you get an option to change the QS element style like right now I have set it on outline and now if I select thin line the QS element style gets changed which looks amazing. In fact you also get an option to hide the QS level which makes the QS panel looks more clean. Now moving down you can also change the number of rows and columns of your QS panel but apart from this I really like the feature called the QS header image where you get a variety of QS header images. I mean you get 75 QS images presets which looks amazing as you can see so yeah it's a really cool feature and I really like it. Now moving down you also get different brightness slider styles like right now I have set it on bank which looks fantastic and now if I select thin one the brightness slider style gets changed. So these were the most important QS panel features and now let's talk about the other features too. Talking about the lock screen features you get the edge light feature which displays a light on the lock screen when a notification arrives which looks amazing. In fact you also get variety of lock screen clocks and yeah it works fine. Now moving into the animation tab you get two different screen lock animations like right now I have set mine one on the CRT and now if I lock my screen the animation goes like this which looks kind of flashy. And now if I select scale the screen lock animation gets changed again. Now talking about the miscellaneous features so firstly you get the parallel space where you can set up different account for the selected app which is a really helpful feature and also you get the game space where you can add your games and it helps to increase the performance of your games and in fact it displays the FPS of your games. Moving down you also get the pulse feature which displays bars while playing music on the navigation bar, lock screen and always on display screen like this which is a really cool feature and even you can customize it according to your choice. In fact you also get various spoofs for unlimited photo and video storage for google photos which works fine and even you get the fps spoof to unlock higher fps in games. So yeah that's for all the evolver features but it's not finished yet. There are more features like spatial audio and adaptive sound in the sound and vibration settings for better audio quality. Moving into the security settings you also get the app lock which works fine without any problems so yeah. It's all about the features. I mean it, it took a lot of time for me to cover all this. So yeah. If you like my video please subscribe my channel. It helps me a lot and share it with your friends. So yeah now let's talk about the performance. Talking about the performance so I ran and 2 2 and the scores came about 466k which is amazing again and even when I ran CPU throttle test no CPU throttling was detected through the whole session and even the highest jib score were about 192k which is outstanding. Talking about the gaming performance so firstly let me tell you that you get 90 fps unlocked for smooth graphics setting but for other settings they are in default. Of course I'm talking about BGMI. So for the gaming test I played 3 TDM matches back to back and an Erangel match. So the gaming session was about 45 minutes straight. So for the first TDM match I got an average of 59 FPS consuming 2% of the battery. For the second TDM match I got an average of 58 FPS consuming only 1% of the battery. And for the third TDM match I got an average of 59 FPS again consuming 2% of battery. Now for the Erangel match. 
which was about 20 minutes long, I got an average of 59 FPS consistently through the whole gaming session and the battery consumption was just 8%. I mean there were minor frame drops of about 50 FPS or 55 FPS but through the whole gaming session it's, it was 59 FPS. So yeah the gaming performance from this room is just amazing and very stable. So the shout out for this room goes to Ashish Jaiswal, bro you did an amazing work regarding this room. For 5G, so yeah, 5G works fine without any problem and I also ran a speed test to check the speed out and yeah, it was fine. Now talking about the battery backup, so I got an average battery backup of about 8 hours on heavy usage and of course I used my phone on 120Hz and for normal usage, you can definitely consider 9 plus hours. Now talking about the cons, so there are no cons. I mean a lot of you guys think that Evolution X is a laggy room or a heavy room but according to me it's smooth as f and even it does everything well maybe heavy gaming or normal usage. So if I talk about my conclusion it's one of the best rooms out there for Poco X4 Pro. I mean you get regular OTA updates and even it's really stable and most importantly it comes with insane customizations. I mean there are a lot more customizations that I didn't show cause the video was getting longer but in short this is an all rounder for everything. So if you want to flash this room you will need AOSP recovery and if you wanna know the flashing process I have already made a video on it, link in the description and I'll also be giving the room link in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to like it, subscribe our channel and share it with your friends. So goodbye and take care. Tata!